Christian B. here. Market update time. It's Wednesday. Hey, maybe you haven't been listening to me, or maybe you have, but things are going from better to worse in one instance for sure is that I buyers. I want to break the story to you and talk to you about this, and then we'll move on. But I buyers, think about this. Zillow last year lost about $880 million going through this program. This year, just breaking, Open Door is being sued right now for $62 million. And that number may go up as the class action maybe starts to move forward. But they're claiming a few things. One is that these are claims. This is not me. These are claims. This is paraphrasing, okay? But number one is that the comps they're using, the comparables they're using, is being claimed that maybe those are being manipulated by employees inside the company. They weren't really giving the best price possible to the sellers. <laughs> Weird. Number two is that they're claiming they're only charging certain fees up front, those type of things. They weren't making money off the back end, which is really more on... You know, the person signing the contract, they should read through that. But, I mean, it's in the lawsuit. Number three is that a lot of the repair costs they were claiming maybe weren't really above board. Maybe they were claiming a lot more in repair costs than what were necessary. And so those are some things in the lawsuit. I want you to look at that. But what's going from better to worse is that all these people are trusting these eye buyers to make it really easy because, you know, that selling your house can be expensive and stressful. How did you hear the commercial all the time? It's like, settle down, okay? It's not that bad. But... In, in trying to gain your trust, they did all these things, but now guess what? Zillow, who lost $880 million, and Open Door, who's being sued for $62 million, are joining forces. Hey, perfect for you. So I just want you to think about that. If you're thinking about using an iBuyer type of program, reach out to me. I'll give you all the advice I got. We can go through the numbers, and you can do the comparables, and hey, maybe it's the right thing for you, because they do have some great programs out there, but I just want you to be cautious and know what's happening out there, Okay. Move that to the side. Next thing, start to look. Inventory is starting to creep up a little bit, but we're still at a rate that's below 2020 and 2019. But there's still a lot of properties coming out, lots of price reductions come out, and this is what's going on too. A lot of escrow cancellations are happening, some areas up to almost 20%. So it's going to be a lot more opportunity for buyers out there right now. But it's still a seller's market, especially in Orange County, especially in North Orange County. We're still well into a seller's market, but... Lots of opportunity as sellers are not listening to their agents. They're still believing this is 2021. Overpricing homes are coming down a little bit to where they should be. And so it's a good sign for the market. And rates have come down a little bit too, which is great too. So lots of things to look at. I put a bunch of links down there today to read a bunch about what's going on with the market year over year, all that type of stuff. But again, Agent B, here to help when you're ready. I'll see you.